welcome back to another vlog i'm so excited because we are in amsterdam we got here yesterday and i didn't really vlog much because we were celebrating my boyfriend's birthday we started off at the Rijk Museum, I believe that's how you say it. Um, but they had really, really cool art. My favorite part was all the collection of the chinoiserie that they had because I'm such a big fan of that. Um, but yeah, it was a really cool way to learn a lot about Amsterdam. And then afterward, we went to this coffee shop called Back to Black. It was really cute, super cozy, and honestly, some of the best coffee that I've had. And then after that, we just went shopping and just had a chill night. And now we woke up early and now we're gonna go get some coffee but before we get coffee i'm gonna show you what i'm wearing okay starting off with the jewelry my earrings are from love aj it's a baby amalfi my necklaces are or my necklace and charms are from mod and co and so are all of my rings and my nails i got them done at 11 angel studios if you're a phoenix girly get your nails done by soul and i have on my favorite thrifted what is it called burberry <laughs> my favorite thrift find to date and then i'm wearing this monday mornings vintage sweater with my nasty gal slit jeans and my manelli boots from paris and my purse is um jwk i got it from Depop. okay let's go <laughs> under an umbrella now because it's raining but we just got done with the cruise it was so nice and such an amazing way to see all around the city and learn about the history of Amsterdam but now we're on our way to get some brunch because I am starving <laughs> walking around for hours just exploring the city checking out all the shops and it's so nice um it is raining which kind of sucks i feel like it's a little inconvenient just because i have to keep carrying the umbrella and i just really want to walk around freely but it's okay we're making the best out of it but now we're hungry and we thought why not just go eat some pho we heard good things about this one place called pho king so we're gonna check it out. So the pho ended up being so good in my opinion. It was just a really, really good basic pho with like the best ingredients, the most tender meat. What do you rate it, babe? Oh, I'd give it a four. No, out of 10. Oh, out of 10. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess I give it a, a strong seven. Seven, yeah. okay. Give it seven. I give it like, I think that's fair. I give it like, <laughs> I wanna see a nine. It's pretty high for me because instead of just using like regular pho noodles, they use like thicker pho noodles and I'm a big texture person. So I really appreciated that. 
but it has stopped raining finally it was raining all day and it was so hard for me to create any content like take photos videos with my phone and my camera because i had to hold the freaking umbrella so sorry if i'm lacking on the content but oops hopefully tomorrow um it isn't raining so that i can vlog more and talk to the camera and all that but yeah so we're just walking back to the room now i'm gonna shower go to sleep and i'll see you guys tomorrow Good morning. It is the next day now. Um, we slept in a little bit, or a lot actually. Um, we slept until like 12, which is kind of bad, and I feel bad about it, but it is our last day, and the other days that we've been here, we have been doing a lot, so I actually feel really, really good since we slept in, but we went and got coffee at this place called St. Jean. I think that's how you say it. And it was really, really good. Not better than the other coffee shop that I went to on my first day. But the pastries, the pastries were the best. But now we're going to head off to this place called the Neuter Market, I think. Because everyone says that it's like the best flea market. So we'll see. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything at that market. I feel like because we woke up late and went there a little late, everything was pretty ran through. But you know what? I cannot complain. The weather is so pretty. So now we're like, you know what? Let's walk to another market. I think it's called the Albert Coop Market. I hope I said that correctly. And get some good food because oof, we haven't had lunch yet. So we're so pretty hungry. You guys, I am just in awe walking around here. It just reminds me of the first time that I came here. I was like, I don't know, 17 or 18. And I remember just walking around and just staring into people's apartments. As creepy as that sounds, I just love it. Like I've been seeing people and moms and families just sitting at the dinner table eating dinner or like people making their breakfast reading their books on their computer like oh, i just really love that that's honestly goals just got to the market and first things first to try is the waffles. We just got the original with the caramel inside so let's see how it tastes. Mm. Guys it's so good. It's so perfect for this weather. It's warm. And I love it because the caramel is not too sweet. I mean, it has like a little crunch on the outside. What do you rate it? 9 out of 10. Yeah. It's good. I'd say the same. Now we got the Dutch pancakes. The mini Dutch pancakes were so good. They were like nice and fluffy and chewy, not too sweet. It was delicious and then it started pouring like i'm literally soaking wet in my arm but that is okay oh here's our next stop we finally found it it's this place called benny's chicken and they're super known for their fried chicken and we love fried chicken so we're gonna try it okay okay so we finally got the chicken we got the regular chicken bites with the garlic sauce mm. Good crunch. Mm-hmm. The garlic sauce is good. 
You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like the chicken. It reminds me of the chicken that they sell at like the boba shops. Super nice and well seasoned. Mmm. That's good. shopping at Zara and after going there every single day that we've been here and not finding anything I finally found some really good pieces I found this one cardigan it's like a cropped oversized fit nude cardigan and a pair of oop it's drizzling oh shit they put out the umbrella and a good pair of black kitten heels really happy about that then we went to the store to get some candy and I ate a few pieces, it was really, really good. Now we're going to this Italian place to eat dinner for our last night, and I'm really excited. Amsterdam is so pretty at night. I would love to live right there. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of bummed because the place I wanted to go to was fully booked, so we're just going to be spontaneous and just walk to whatever restaurant looks good and then try get in there. Wish me luck. Hey guys. Hey guys. 